Assalamu alaikum viewers. So today's topic is exponent and today I am going to explain some questions on the topic exponent. Now for this you have to remember laws of exponent. Now looking at the questions it must come in your mind that which law you have to apply here. Okay now look here. By looking here, it must come in your mind that we have to apply quotient law here. And if you know this law, you can easily solve this question. So before solving question, must understand how we have to solve this. Okay. By understanding this, you can easily solve the question. Math is very easy. Just you need is practice, practice and practice. Okay. So must remember. Uh, the laws of exponent now by looking at this question you must know that we have to apply quotient law here and what is quotient law quotient law is if we have same base and in between division sign we have to subtract its powers okay now when we will subtract its powers look here we have 6 minus 3 and when we will subtract these two we will get 5 raised power 3 and it is uh, simplified form of this question now look here what we have in between multiplication sign so which law we can apply here we can apply product law here so what is product law when we have base sa same base and in between product sign we will add the powers when we will add the powers we will get 4 here Where these questions are very very easy just you have to remember the laws now look here we have here uh, brackets also so according to board mass rule you have to solve the bracket first okay now what we have in brackets we have same base and multiplication sign so we will add the powers when we will add them we will get 8 here now we are done with bracket now look here what we have left uh, what we are left with we are left with this division sign and same base so we will subtract the powers when we will subtract the powers what we will get 8 minus 8 is equal to 0 so if you remember we have learned before um, 0 exponent what is 0 exponent whenever we have anything uh, 0 on any uh, with any base is equal to 0 this is 0 exponent if we have a and power 0 we will again get the same answer 1 okay so according to this 0 exponent we have 5 raised power 0 is equal to 1 our answer is 1 now look here what we have a negative exponent how we have to solve this first we have to make it positive by changing its position so when we will uh, how we will get this positive sign it is here at numerator place when we will move this to denominator place we will get this we can write positive true here now how to uh, we are how we have how to solve this look at 1 over 4 multiply by 4 when we have raised power 2 we have to multiply it two times okay if we have raised power 3 we have to multiply it three times now look at 1 over 4 multiply by 4 what we will get answer 1 over 16 now again same here what we have negative exponent how first thing we have to make it positive how we will make it positive 1 over 144 and here this is our final answer we will not solve it further because here we have 1 okay so we are left with um, our answer here we have 2 so we have to multiply it 2 times here it is already 1 so our answer is 1 over 144 now look here what we have 5 raised power minus 1 multiply by under root 5 raised power minus 2 okay now one thing you must know that we can write this under root like this also if you remember this you can easily solve this first we have to solve this under root when we we can write this under root like this also so look here we have minus 2 and bracket 1 over 2 now we can cut this 2 with 2 and we are left with minus 1 
now look here now what we can apply here product law same base and in between multiplication sign we will add the powers when we will add the powers we will get this minus one minus one and you uh, you must know that if we have minus minus same sign we have to do addition one plus one two and in between sign minus two will come here now we have to make it positive 1 over 5 raised to the power minus 2 is equal to 1 over 5 multiplied by 5 is equal to 1 over 25 is final answer. Now look at this question what we have cube root 3. In previous question it was under root look here we have uh, in here we have under root but now in this question what we have cube root plus under root 81 now how we can write this 27 because we can write this cube root like this one by three so in between also we must have some base with some exponent uh, exponent so how we can write when we will multiply this three three times we will get 27 so we can write this 27 like 3 raised power 3 and this 81 9 raised power 2 now look here when we have 3 raised power 3 and we can write this cube root like this also. So next step what we have 9 raised power 2 and bracket 1 by 2. Now we, we have to solve this. We can cut this 3 with 3, 2 with 2 and we are left with 1 only. So 3 raised power 1 is equal to 3 and rise 9 raised power 1 is equal to 9. And and at denominator place what we have 3 raised power minus 1 now uh, here what we have to do we will add them 9 plus 3 is equal to 12 and and denominator place we have 3 raised power minus 1 now we have to make it positive as it is minus 1 at the denominator place we have to move it at numerator place how we can move it is dividing here when we will multiply it with 12 we can change its place at numerator place now here what we will get positive 1 at numerator place it will become positive 1 and 3 raised power 1 is equal to 3 and when we will multiply this 12 with 3 we will get answer 36 now look at this question next question what we have here 25 raised for 4 uh, sorry 25 over 15 whole raised for 4 in between division sign 125 over 64 raised for 2 and here we have minus sign now we have to write this in exponent form how we can write when we will multiply 5 2 times we will get this um, 5 raised power 2 5 raised power 2 5 multiplied by 5 is equal to 25 so we can write this 5 raised power 2 we can write this 25 as 5 raised power 2 so here we get 5 raised power 2 and we can write this 15 as 3 multiplied by 5 here when we will multiply 5 3 times we will get 25 so we can write this 125 as 5 raised power 3 and 2 raised power 6 uh, and here 5 raised power 4 and 2 raised power 5 now further what we have to apply here now here we can apply power law can you see we have to apply power law here what is power law power law is a raised power m bracket raised power n is equal to 
a raised power m multiplied by n can you see this here this one is power law now what we have to do here we have to multiply the powers 5 raised power 8 4 multiplied by 2 we will get 8 and here when we have nothing here it is power 1 and here it is power 1 so 1 multiplied by 4 4 1 multiplied by 4 4 3 multiplied by 2 6 and 6 multiplied by 2 12 4 multiplied by minus 1 is equal to minus 4 5 multiplied by minus 1 is equal to minus 5 now next what we can do here now next step is look here we have 5 raised power 8 and here 5 raised power 4 so <clears throat> 5 raised power 8 divided by 5 raised power 4 so here we will apply quotient law 5 raised power when we have division sign in between so we will subtract the powers 8 minus 4 and at denominator place we are left with 3 raised power 4 now here they it will not change and it will uh, here we have to make the powers positive so when we will move it at the numerator place 5 will become positive and when we will move it at denominator place this 4 will become positive now what we will get we will subtract the powers here we will get 5 raised power 4 now can you see here we have 5 raised power 4 we will cut this 5 raised power 4 with this and here we have base same and in between multiplication sign so we will add the powers here and it will come as it is now next step we have to add the powers and we are left with 2 raised power 17 divided by 3 raised power 4 multiplied by 5 raised power 6 and this is our final answer now look here in this question we have to show that this left hand side is not equal to right hand side first we will take this left hand side and we will prove that it is not equal to 1 what we have here 9 multiplied by 4 raised power minus 2 multiply by 3 raised power minus 2 multiply by under root 4 raised power 2 first step is we can write it as 1 by 2 and when we will write it as 1 by 2 we can cut this 2 with 2 and we are left with 4 here okay and in this step we have done this base same 3 raised power 2 and 3 raised power minus 2 so we will add the powers and we are left with 4 raised power minus 2 and here it is 4. Now again we can apply product law here. Base same we will add the powers. Now when we will do plus minus minus and 2 minus 2. Now 2 minus 2 is equal to 0 and minus 2 plus minus minus we will do subtraction and so which sign will come uh, sign of bigger number so first you how you can decide you have to do subtraction uh, subtraction of addition if you have opposite sign plus minus you have to do subtraction okay and which uh, which sign will come here uh, sign of bigger number will come minus one two minus one one and sign of this bigger number now 3 raised power 0 here we will apply 0 exponent 3 raised power 0 is equal to 1 and 4 raised power minus 1 we have to make it positive and when we, we will make it positive we will move it at denominator place and it will become 1 over 4 so this shows that this is not equal to 1 so left hand side is not equal to right hand side 
सो स्टूडेंट्स इफ़ यू लाइक माई वे ऑफ एक्सप्लेनिंग प्लीज़ लाइक माई वीडियो शेयर इट विद अदर्स एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल फॉर मोर वीडियोज़ थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग